Hi, I'm Tracy. Um, this is the second part of um, a simple abstract floral painting in acrylic, which is of white everlastings. Um, they're a local uh, Feinbos flower from South Africa, where I am. If you haven't seen part one, I will include the link in the description below. Um, otherwise, let's get on with it. So what happens with acrylic paint sometimes is that it can dry a little darker or duller than what you expect the colour to be. And that is exactly what's happened with these uh, pale light green uh, leaves that I've painted here. So I'm not very happy with their um, the colour intensity and so I've mixed in a bit more yellow into my paint to try and bring the lightness of, of these leaves up and the brightness of the slight green. So first things first, I'm going to be um, going over these pieces uh, of these bits of leaf to just brighten that all up and uh, bring a kind of zing to them. So we're going to let this dry now, but I am a lot happier with the vibrancy and saturation of this bright yellow green. So it's dry now and I'm still not happy with the colour of this green. I want it to be more yellow and so I'll deal with that later. First things first, I think I'll start adding the flowers in and I'm going to be using a titanium white that I have thinned a lot with. Um, uh, acrylic gloss glaze medium and here's my really mixed up jar of white with the gloss glaze medium and I'm just going to outline my flowers for now find a brush I'm using a hog hair number one So if you remember, I marked out where I wanted the flowers to go and I've left kind of space for them there. So now I'm just marking off exactly where they're going with my white. And before I really get into painting the flowers, I'm going to just add some detail to the centre. For that, I'm going to use a little bit of titanium buff. Titanium buff here that I want to have shining through once I've put the black marks on.
and once again I'm going to be waiting for this to dry before we go into the next step. So I've taken this off my easel and put it on a table because I'm going to be working with this uh, quite drippy paint solution which is titanium white and acrylic uh, gloss glaze medium and so I just don't want it to run so I'm going to be working flat and I start adding um, the petals and the painting uh, is of everlasting flowers which have um, very very thin sharp paper like um, petals. I mean, I'm not sure if they even technically are petals but that's what they look like to me and so I will slowly in layers build up these petals in thin glazed layers to give a bit of depth to the flowers. So I'm back at the easel. <clears throat> I haven't quite finished the flowers, but I want to um, do the centres of them now before I carry on with the outside the petals. Um, so I'm back here simply because I'm finding it a bit easier on the easel to see where things are. So I'm going to go ahead with it and paint those middle bits.
this one is based on and you can see that I've just got these lovely yellow and greens here so it took me a while to figure out what I was doing wrong but I've got it now and also I just want to add here a little bit more to the petals of the flowers so I'll be doing that just to finish off this piece today and then it'll be done. Well, that's it folks. Thanks for watching my video and for um, just joining me on painting this one commission. I'm pretty much done now. Um, I will share in another video how I uh, finish off my paintings for before they're ready to go and be sent to their collector, to the collector who's bought it or to an exhibition. Um, and that will be, yeah, in a video coming up soon. Thanks for watching and see you again. Bye.